the water came slowly, like a monster. It's due to be the road here. We know that it's there. It's everywhere. It's also in your food. That was a late night. And those nightmares, again. All this research on climate change is driving me crazy. I should have done my thesis on something else. I would like to see Dr. Chen. Um, I'm having really weird dreams. Monsters and stuff. This afternoon is great. Okay, thanks. Bye bye. This guy is cool. So are the gadgets he reviews. Hey Siri, give me my tech news. Hmm, we have all these devices. Couldn't they take care of things for us? Technology is the way to, to improve our, the human life. A lot of people have hope in technology. Technology can make a bomb, also can make wonderful things. One of the things about Taiwan is that it is the biggest producer of plastic, period. We're the culprit. We are also blessed by the fact that in this such a small island, within a hundred kilometer radius, you have all this technology available to you. So. We are here at a pilot lab. We pilot all kinds of technology, machineries, including robotics, AI camera system, all the way to a scalable mass manufacturing machine to turn trash into a new generation of material. That's the whole trash bristle concept, a thermal forging. This is the most efficient way to take the trash waste from people right after they use it and make the machine small enough to be able to transform it on site within minutes. We want to use technology to solve the problem of today. 
and become the solution of the future. That's cool. So, trash could become the new resource of the future. That would solve a lot of our problems. See, tech can take care of so much in life. Obviously, we need more tech. Green tech! I don't think I could put 100% my, of all of my faith in tech. When we're trying to solve problems, we actually create more problems. So a lot of tech is like that. For example, like solar panels, it's uh, when we're using them, it's pretty good. And then we get, get energy to, from the sun. It's a really great idea. But then right now, when we're recycling it, there's a lot of problems. My job as a filmmaker is just to make people aware because we're just born into consumer culture, but none of us are very aware of how this has an effect on the environment. We just think, okay, I'm gonna buy this and I'm gonna throw it away, and then that's about it. YouTube is kind of a great place where you can actually gather a whole community. I rode around the island and did beach cleanups like from north mid to southern Taiwan. It's, it's really sick, you know? So the first time I asked everyone to come and join the beach clean, like about 200 people showed up. And then last year, about 5,000 people showed up. Huh, so I can put on my feet and relax? It's 3 p.m. You have an appointment at Dr. Ken. Relax? Somehow, I don't think so. Scientists say we're ruining the planet. The very air we breathe. We're trashing our world. Cities like Taipei are sinking. The seas are rising. We need something to slow down global warming. How can we do it? I use computer models to evaluate what the society can do. So look at geoengineering or climate engineering. There have been a number of different ideas. The idea is to create gigantic mirrors in the space. To reduce the sunlight by refracting some of the lights back to space. Uh, theoretically, that might be possible, but it will come with a huge uh, pr uh, price tag. Injection is the idea to release infecting particles in the atmosphere, like mimicking the volcanic eruptions. It quickly reduces the, the temperature, and also it's it considered to be very cheap. Geoengineering is, is a deliberate and a planetary scale intervention. If you inject something in the stratosphere, you might end up destroying ozone there. You might end up reducing uh, precipitation. This technology should never be used. It could cause the, the irreversible and change to the climate systems. That's a letdown. Hmm, so... We can't leave everything up to tech. Like e-scooters, they're good for the air, but don't mean less traffic. 
Ride sharing helps, of course, but it will take more than that. I mean, I wish we could just live in balance with the earth. Unfortunately, our single use culture and our consumption culture is not like nature. We, we have like little or no relationship with nature, most of us. And if I don't want a relationship with nature, is this my punishment? Sitting in traffic? Hope the doctor doesn't think I'm crazy because of my dreams about monsters and the state of our world. Funnily enough, I'm not the only one to see a psychologist about this sort of thing. He says it's good I care and that I should use my anxieties to motivate me to change the way I live. So, will tech save us? We definitely need new tech, and tech that does more good than bad. But that's not enough. By the way, I haven't introduced myself, because it's not important. I could be you, I could be all of us.